Hi folks. Sorry about the delay there. Twitch was indeed being twitchy. We uh we had to re re-log into the chat room. But we're back. I need to be able to see what you're all saying. McScrewgun has resubscribed 39 months in a row. Thanks so much, McScrewgun. Mindtrip Media used 100 bits. And I think that's what happened while I was getting ready here. Welcome in, folks. Dan Blast Gordon, Sweet Sandy, Crosshatch, good to see you. Crosshatch, I see that you found your way into the Discord. Thanks to the gift sub. Glad you got that sorted. So, uh, to make sure we start off without burying the lead, at the end of last week, I was looking for these pieces. I found them. They were on the floor. They were just underneath something. Uh, the, there's just a, it was just a small baggie. It's only about that big. And so it was hiding, uh, and I couldn't see it last week. But that was fine, because we, we didn't have time to build all this last week at the end of the show anyway. So we're going to pick up where we left off, and that is in the... Um, East Tower South Entry. So that's 23. So we're going to go this way. We've done all the counting. I did that before the stream. So now we start a new thing. But first, we have to lay out all the pieces. I know I said Blast Gordon. I hope you weren't going to check it. Blast Jordan, you caught it. It's like the, the GIF or JIF problem. It's a good thing I don't talk for a living. The amount of flubs that I've had in the last couple of weeks has just been astounding. I had to edit so many things out of the Citadel Cafe last time. I guess we'll start with the greys. The big greys, I mean. Probably remember how many there were. Make life a little easier. Survey says forty four. It's pretty straight for eyeballing it. Two, four, six, eight. Wrong size. Eleven, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. McScrewgun, I'm the same way. We won't go down the, the rabbit hole of the debate, but I, I agree. GIF. With a hard G. <laughs> Etho suggests GIF. <laughs> I, have, I haven't heard his take on that. Etho is somebody that I think would be very fun to hang out with in real life. He seems like a pretty funny chap. Fellow Canadian. Already. He's in my good books. I'll be hanging out with Impulse SV on uh, the podcast this coming Monday. On the Spawn Chunks. 
Impulse is filling in for Johnny. And I just found out yesterday that there's been some travel delays and Johnny is going to be out for a third week. So I've got to find a guest host for a third week in, uh, in July. Quick question. Actually, I felt that my audio on the last Lego stream, so the first first um, week with this set, was a little bit loud. Like, I felt like I was loud. I don't know whether I was just too close to the mic. Maybe a little bit too self-conscious of it and, like, leaning into the mic too much. I prefer not to lean into the mic because over the course of a couple hours, it's kind of hard on your back. Good luck finding him, you mean Etho? For context? Hey, I did that right. Perfect. Actually, maybe we'll go here with these. What's this? I, uh, I don't know how to turn the music up for you guys, but down for me. So I know that the music track happened to make it into the VOD last time. And that's just, a I guess, an oversight on my part. I thought that this streaming profile was set up to, um, to cut out the music from the VOD, but it did not work. So hopefully it'll work this time. Uh, can we ask for Jem? You can ask for Jem. Uh, I have asked for Jem in the past, and uh, Jem is lovely and willing to do it. Unfortunately, Jem has a dog now. And the last time I spoke with Jem about coming on the Spawn Chunks, uh, Winnie, her dog, was still too much of a handful in the background, so she wasn't able to do it. So I agree. I think Jem would Jem would be my first choice. Uh, especially for filling in for pixel riffs uh, when it comes to filling in for people I like to bring people back on the spawn chunks that have been there before at least once uh, this will be impulses sec third time third time back I think yeah uh, and so I, I also don't want to grab anybody that Johnny hasn't talked to before uh, because um, I feel like that would be a missed opportunity you know, uh, I mean, I, I go with, with, um, impulse on the brain. I, I go to Schizoman as, as a potential uh, guest host, but then also we haven't actually had Skiz on the show yet. So we'd, I'd like to interview Skiz. I think that would be really cool. Uh, but I, I would, I don't want to do that without Johnny. Right. I feel like this is going a little crooked. Uh, 
I'm hoping you can't hear my uh, air conditioner or fan in the background. This mic seems to be pretty good at cutting it out. You might be able to hear it while I'm speaking. You probably can't hear it when I'm not speaking. Uh, but unfortunately, there's like a humidity and a heat warning here, so I can't stream without it. I would be miserable. You, you'd be able to listen to the energy slowly leaving my being <laughs> over the course of a two-hour stream. Or more, actually. I've got some extra time today. This might go... We'll just see where we get to. If we're in the middle of something, then we'll just keep on going. I don't know whether my skip track button is working or not. Unfortunately, the Minecraft soundtrack has a lot of ambient, kind of very soft dead air. And it's sort of hard to hear. I can see from the meter that something's playing. Don't really hear the AC on your end at all. Perfect summer evening here. 20 degrees, that is a nice summer evening. It's been 20 degrees or more after midnight here with the humidity. So it's been been tricky uh, sleeping for some people. Not so much for me, I've got the air conditioner, but um, the trick there is that of course the air conditioner is not super quiet. So, um, and I used to have a model where it would, the air conditioner would turn on the AC if it got too warm and then it would shut the AC function off, but then it would continue to do a fan. And that never woke me up. But the new model that I have, unfortunately, it, uh, it turns off completely when it reaches a certain temperature, which I mean, I don't care about during the day, but that start and then probably 15 minutes later or half an hour later start up again in the middle of the night if it's in the room with you wakes me up which sucks uh what did people say about the audio from last week did i catch that also i'm burying the lead here i completely forgot to mention at the top of the stream i mean it'll be very easy for people on the VOD. Uh, this is a custom Lego set. It's a, a mock, a my own creation that was sent in by Grandpa Crafter. And it is the front gate of West Hill, the main gate, uh, which is my build on the Citadel. And she's a big, she's a big set. We're looking at 60 centimeters width, 44 centimeters in height. So pretty chunky. So thanks again to Grandpa Crafter for sending this in. Uh, you liked the last time she was on? I love having Gemini Tay on the podcast. She's lovely. Also a fellow Canadian. <laughs> Etho is Canadian, not sure you can trust him. <laughs> I see what you did there. Sensing a pro Canadian bias. Well, you know. It does make it easier as far as time zones go most of the time. Although speaking of Etho, like that would be a great person to have on the podcast. I feel like we've got to be careful if we're going for different 
content creators, especially if they've recently been on the Imp and Skiz podcast, because you don't want to just rehash the same conversations that they just had. Plus, obviously, those folks are pretty busy. It's weird how next to these blue-gray pieces, these more neutral gray pieces almost look yellow. They're not. It's just that the moment that you put them next to something blue, they start to look a little yellow. I mean, I guess they are potentially recycled. But usually getting secondhand Lego from these places, it's usually pretty clean. Oh, I missed these. Let's put these up here, I guess. Oh, she's real crooked. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Normally I can see at least a little bit on my camera how off I am. All right, too late now. Gappy the guy, hello, welcome in. It is indeed Lego Friday. I mean, if you're not doing Lego on Friday, I suggest you are perhaps doing Friday wrong. I have a coffee right now. The only thing that would make Lego Friday better would be a beer. But I'm going out for dinner later, so I will grab one then. Okay, so we ended off at the end of last stream with the tower base complete. So we're going to pick up there. Yeah, I really appreciate the the time and effort, Grandpa Crafter. Oh, I don't think I don't think my next track button is working. No. It's so dumb that I have to have iTunes as like the last application that was up in the background. 
for that to actually work. If some track comes on that really bugs me, then we'll we'll make the change. Right. So it looks like we're gonna start something separate. So I'll move this over here. We're gonna need two of these guys and five. Funny, I've been playing guitar now quite seriously for about a month and a half. Learning, not really playing, more like learning. But like, I have no feeling in these three fingers. I mean, I have some, but like, it's really, picking stuff like this up, I can definitely feel like a weird tingle. All right, so we lay things out at the bottom like this. This is kind of how the last one started. Like so. Going out for a beer later should not prelude tonight's preclude tonight's beer. That logic would not have having a beer tonight due to last night beer. What? Try English. Yep, I'm definitely gonna have to switch tracks. Hold on. All right, two light gray and two of the dark blue gray. So that's these two and these two. And they go here like this. And the reverse over here. And then we've got I've these pieces. I've never really done this kind of layout before. I've always with Lego instructions, they always just connect to something. They never just put them down in space. Not that I've seen anyway. This is kind of a unique experience. We do eventually connect it all together, but Four more of these. Looks like it might be on two. That. These are light gray specifically, not the light blue gray. Kel Birdie, hello, how are you? I uh, wish I could have connected them to start with, says Grandpa Crafter, but it was a compromise with the software. Ah, I see. This goes in the corner. This goes here. And then this goes there. This should connect most of this side up. And then 
goes over here. That. This. Right. So we're not quite all connected yet, but we've got chunks now. I'll tighten it all up once we get it all in one piece. I'm great, Kel. Doing great. Yeah, it's um, I'm busy because I'm doing the solo production on the spawn chunks the next three weeks. Or, well, three weeks, including this one. We were just saying earlier that I'm going to find another co-host for the third week of July. Or the fourth week of July. Whatever. The, the 8th, 15th, and now the 22nd. So 15th, 15th is going to be Impulse SV, and then 22nd is going to be somebody. I don't know who yet. Hopefully somebody in my time zone, because it would be nice not to record so late in the day. So this looks like it goes across here. This is connecting here. We've got this connecting here. This connecting there. Another piece there. And that piece there. So this is mostly together now. That's together. Oh, that's not right. So we still get a couple of connections left. Light gray, light bluish gray. So two of these, three of these, and then three of these. Oh, no, only two. Yellow is the light gray. Red is the bluish gray. I still haven't figured out what the bluish gray and the and the light gray are meant to be representing in game, maybe stone and andesite, I guess. Oh, hello, Lola, welcome in, hello. It's always weird when people have hello in their usernames. I feel like I'm repeating myself. Complicated corner pieces in the first layer are to anchor the corners because otherwise they've been, they'd be unconnected Pillars of light gray. Ah. That was 30. Pretty one. Salty dime, I guess. I'm not trying to say that, but welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Uh, the light gray versus the light blue gray is where there were bricks in the Minecraft model. Ah, yes. Okay. That makes sense. I agree, Lola. 
I 100% agree. It is a very cool gift. So back to what I was saying earlier, um, how is, like, if I'm about this distance from the mic, is that good? Is that still very clear? Still sounds like podcast quality? Or do I have to be closer? I'm not sure why. I just feel like last week was I was all out of sorts. I must have just been sitting too close, or maybe I put the mic in a different position than I normally do. I know I have to generally speak towards it the way that the mic is sensitive. If I look at my coffee or out the window and talk, then you can't hear me. Well, you can hear me. It, is not, it doesn't sound as good. Two of these. There they are. And six of these. These two pieces are still not actually connected. Okay. Now the instructions don't seem to indicate where these go. I think these are all supposed to be the same. So I'm assuming that these two are going to go on the edges. As per the bricks that we just discussed. And I've got one of those there, one of these here, and this there. Anything? I think we're finally all connected now. Yep. Good, good. You're saying that you thought it was connected before this? It all looks right to me.
Yeah. All that. Hey, we got some brown going on. Who are those? Cool, it's the door. Uh, there isn't two of those. Did I miscount those? There's only two in the place holder, and there's three in the build. Now we're gonna find those. I think that's them. The one thing I didn't have time to do this week was to go through the bags and separate the different browns. And then two of these. So just so you can see, that makes like a little roof shape. And then these two little brown pieces go together and they go up underneath. Cool. These just don't want to stay connected. I'm sure they will once we get some bricks on top of them. Six of these for the little walls. Very clever.
cool. Thanks, Grandpa Copter. I'm sure we can cross any bridge when we come to it, but... So these go under here. It's a fun little detail. Shows up nice with the dark gray behind it as well. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two of these and one of those. Man, it's been so long since I built this in game. It's hard to remember how I did it. I've no, I've wa I can know my way around. Like I can walk around through it, but trying to remember how I built it all. It's an interesting memory test. So these just continue up on the corners. Got one of those here, one of those there. And, uh-oh, this is in the wrong spot. Here we go. If only there was a place to watch the VODs where it was all made, right? Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. Grab an extra one. Two of those, one of those. And next.
I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do down the line. Uh, there's a new Bumblebee Lego set. There's the Transistor Radio Lego set. Uh, there's a couple. I mean, I'm not. I, I don't think I'm going to get into the flowers, but there's a couple of new flower sets that are really cool. I can't remember what it's called, but there's a one that has like a little bluish green vase underneath it. It's like a dahlia or something. It's it's a really pretty Lego build. Two of those, which we don't have. Let's see. Thankfully, these are easy to find. Shout out to Alistair for giving Grandpa Crafter a big hand with sorting the pieces into different bags. Chrysanthemum says Lola. Yep, yeah, that sounds right. Let's see if I can find it quick. I feel like chrysanthemums were some of my grandma's favorite flowers, I think. That is exactly what I was thinking of, Lola. I'll put a link in chat, just a second. Are you not gonna paste silly chat room? Well, looks like Sandy beat me to it. Thanks, Sandy. That's annoying. The copy-paste on my iPad is not working. Actually, my chat in general is just making it very difficult for me to chat. It's probably just because Twitch on mobile is a real pain. What did I miss there? Oh, the two that I didn't. Right. I should see if I can do like a little composite video at the end of this with some shots of the build in Minecraft and then some shots of this build on my desk here. One of those and two of those. These go in here. Four and two. Okay, those two, 
three white pieces. So I've got this little piece goes in the middle. This white thing lines up with that. And then these just go in the corners. I'm assuming for stability or rigidity. Goes there. And then this goes on the end. Stream is at one hour. Well, that ends up being really good timing, Sandy. We're just about done with this particular load of pieces. I'm wondering why I completely pause in the middle of my sentences only during the Lego streams. I feel like I might do it in Minecraft as well, but I feel like I notice it more in the Lego streams. So that is the first count of pieces on this section. And this is the back entrance. So, oops, that I've just destroyed. Uh, this goes that way. And then eventually this, I think, connects on the back. Like that. Like this is gonna be big. Pretty cool so far. Uh, if you are new to the stream, I take a break once an hour. I'm gonna do that now. And then uh, when we come back, we'll pick up with the next section. Let's get something cool to look at, I guess. Be right back.
so I think we connect it now. I think that's what this step means. So we have a white brick there and we have this brick and this little notch. And oh, these just keep on falling off. And there's a little notch there and that goes there. Yep. Feeling sturdy. So it's got the little crevice in there. That's cool. I really like the way that the bricks look. It's a really cool effect, Grandpa Crafter. Parts list. New things. Here's the, uh, this is that little baggie that I couldn't find last week. It was just hiding on the floor. All right. Uh, let's go with big ones first, 46. Some satisfying Lego ASMR for people. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I don't remember hearing this song before in Minecraft. Pretty. Four of these two by sixes. Oh, is that the wrong color? It's the wrong color. Oh no, it's the right color. Sixteen of the light gray squares. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. That was a good guess.
think the other bags are in the box. Oh, maybe not. This bag is kind of like a jumble of all the little extra bits. All right, four of those, 16 of those, 46, 16, four, 10 of the light gray, I think that's these. Four, ten, and then four. Two by threes. So now we just need the dark gray. And it's those. Whoops. Basic bricks need a lot more space than Lego usually kit types these days. Yeah, oh, for sure. I think I mentioned last time that this is the first time in a very long time I've put full bricks together. Most of the times it's just, it's an assembly of plates. Although I have to say, some of the boxes that I have for Lego sets are four times the size of the box. Like, the Shuttle Discovery box doesn't fit on camera. It's huge. Uh, same with the DeLorean. 
the TIE Fighter. The X-Wing box didn't fit on camera. Neither did the Lighthouse or Ecto-1. Those are all really big. Well, TIE Fighter and Ecto-1 might have, but the, the Lighthouse and the Starfighter were just ginormous boxes. Two, three, four, five. Twenty two. Yeah, a box like that through the post would be astronomical. So we're going to be working on the arch, apparently. Do I have a straight edge somewhere? I guess I could use the book. I didn't see, are these like, I guess they're just labeled as arch columns and stuff. There wasn't like, in Lego you're obviously on to like bags, bags one, bags two, bags three, that kind of stuff. I don't wonder if I was to attempt to design something that I've done from West Hill in Lego, I wonder what, what I would do. I think it would be fun to do something with an interior. Probably one of the blacksmith shops. It would have a cool detailed outside and an opportunity for like a little LED. you could see what track this is. It sort of sounds like original Minecraft, but then it's obviously been expanded upon. The doggo is not excited about the treats that you have, says Sandy. I have either A, given too many treats, or B, bought the wrong treats. My guess 
would be the wrong treats. Depends on how food driven your dog is, but all the dogs that I've encountered, too many treats was like a Greek. <laughs> There's no such thing. No such thing as too many treats. I guess we'll go, there's a lot of these, so we'll go right into these, I guess. Five. I'm not sure whether it's the camera lens or whether I've really made it crooked. A little crooked on like this side here, but not as much as what I'm seeing on the camera. In real life, this doesn't look like it's not as slanted. Any photographers or videographers in the chat recommend the type of lens that I should be using for like a top down shot like this? The beef that I have with this particular lens is the depth of field is really narrow. So for example, I've got it focused so that the desk and, and these bricks are in focus, but the top of this is softer, and that's only 8 inches difference. Uh, the Mary Miner says, my dog is allergic to nearly everything. Oh, no. So he only gets whole apples and carrots for treats. Makes it a lot easier not to over-treat him, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. Whole apples. How big is your dog? What kind of dog do you have? Instead of bags, you get pick lists. Ah, 14 pick lists. That's cool. Thanks, Grandpa Crafter. Multiple pick lists before you finish it. All right, cool. I know this is the Minecraft soundtrack, but this sounds like a Studio Ghibli soundtrack to an animated film. Gotta be careful and still leave room for the instructions to be up here. Normally I try to stick all the colors together, but I think this time I was going more for the shape of the bricks. I definitely made it crooked again. I wonder if I bumped the table and the table's crooked. I 
two, four, six, eight. I squeeze 11. Oh, no, wait. This is not the same. These other ones have more. Weirdly, these little two by two bricks are actually hard to keep straight. I feel like I'm fiddling with like words on Instagram on a story that you're trying to get the line up right. We think he is a Doberman lab great Dane mix of some kind. He's a rescue. That, that would be a large rescue. Yep. He's allergic to humans, sheep, and cats? How is he allergic to humans? Three big breeds, no wonder the apple works as a treat. Yep. Yeah, we've talked about it a little bit on the stream before, but I'm I'm a big fan of American bullies. I don't have one yet, but someday I will. When I was looking for one for the apartment, I was thinking more um, pocket bully, but now that I'm house hunting and it doesn't really matter, I would be more inclined for an XL. Well, standard or an XL. Standard are still a good sized dog. I do find sometimes standards can be a little bit short, and so you end up with a really heavy dog that can't really maneuver all that much, whereas the XLs, they can be heavy, but they can also still be athletic and able to get in and out of the car on their own, that kind of thing. I like the idea of having a big dog. I don't like the idea of having to help the dog. <laughs> That's 120 pounds up onto things or into things. And American bullies have a nice mix of being athletic, but then also being kind of a lazy bones when you want them to be. Yeah, this is really crooked. All right, we don't need to listen to chickens. Well, I think this is going to work out quite well for the stream today. We'll probably be able to finish this up and then save the next pick list for the next stream. Cool. I uh, know I don't have a pencil. I tried to use the edge of the book, but it only works so far. I'm not that bent out of shape about it. If I had a mat that had a grid on it, it would be cool. But then also, I feel like that would be distracting while we were, while we were building. The arch columns. Ready to go. So this is... Two of the normals. Three of the dark, one of those, and one of these.
Deja vu. go and we need one one two and one Go. Squeal it. Hello. Yeah, the one of the dogs around here that's really popular is um not border collie. What am I thinking about? Australian Shepherd. There's a Australian Shepherd breeder here in the province, and so a lot of people have them. I love I love them. They're beautiful, friendly dogs. But I I want something with a little bit less energy, <laughs> for sure. That connects everything. Yep. So I noticed that we have a release date for Satisfactory, September 10th. So you can expect a return to Satisfactory here on the channel when 1.0 comes out. Uh, and no, I don't have any plans in starting over. I'm going to continue on with my build and see what, what changes need to happen. And that's why I haven't been playing much at all is because anything I do now would very likely have to be redone once 1.0 comes out. I've, I, any thought about starting anew is immediately squashed by the fact that I have a very cool diluted fuel power plant and I don't want to mess with it. Long time to wait for September 10th. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a couple months away. Eight weeks. I'm probably going to load it up just a little bit beforehand just to kind of take a tour around, get a, a refresher in my own brain, but also refresh the audiences of where we are with it. I think a, a build tour would be a good way to get back into it.
This is the arch over the main gate. I forgot how beefy this design was. I think the arch is like five blocks deep. Yeah. These, the gates were really fun to build in West Hill. All four of them. There's an east and a west and a south and a north. And they were all really fun to make. That the wrong kind? Nope, just the light was hitting it funny. So you can start to see the arch starting to come in. back a bit with these. Squealet says I'm definitely looking forward to Satisfactory and I am restarting. Sweet Sandy is also restarting Satisfactory. I don't have that large of a build that I think it's worth fixing. Yeah, see, I've got probably 1,500 hours. I certainly have 1,000. I know I hit 1,000. Probably close to 1,100 um, in the save. Is that, am I at 1,000 hours total or am I at 1,000 hours in the one Devastator build? I can't remember. One thing I am considering, though, is using a map editor to copy the Metroplex build, which is my snapshot um, experimental build, and copy that into the Devastator world. Even though it won't be working, I think that, that would be cool. Because then I'd have two Transformer theme builds in the same place. I just got carried away with that Metroplex thing. And so I want to I want to salvage it. I want to keep it going forward and I think having everything in one build would probably be one place would probably be a good idea. Although I don't know, it could be an opportunity to do something unique in the grassy fields as well. I like the idea of doing like everything as Decepticons. I'd have to redo a bunch of stuff. Cause my original factory is not Transformer themed in the Devastator build through. Let's go in like that. Yes. Definitely chunky. Uh, did I miss one? 
No, maybe I grabbed two when I was supposed to grab one. All the changed recipes, the pain to change the factories. Yeah, yeah, I agree. A thousand in one build, and then 400 in the other, something like that, yeah. I had it memorized when we were doing streams a lot. People would ask me, and I'd just like, I'd be able to rattle it off. All right, this actually gets attached now. And it goes right here. So there's a little notch, and there's a little brick. When you look at it from the front, it looks like that. This thing is going to weigh a ton when it's finished. I'm not going to be able to keep it on camera very long. It's going to get very, very large. I'm confused. Oh, I guess we gotta do that first. Fifty three to sixty two. Repeat, 53 to 62. Does it, does it just get turned around? Yep. Getting there. All right. Whoops. That the wrong one. That goes there, and then this goes there.
good. Does anybody have any Lego sets that they're currently building or something that's on their short list that they they want to get in the near, in the near future? I was talking earlier about being undecided between Bumblebee and that old-timey radio. The Bumblebee looks pretty cool, but I don't like that he doesn't have knees. I know the toy didn't have knees when we were kids, but I feel like they could have add, added knees. That would be a a thing I would look at aftermarket would be grabbing a couple of pieces and see if I could design some knees for Bumblebee. Hey, there's the mighty Elkhorn. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good Friday so far, my friend. How are things over on Infinity Cove? I wonder what they used to record the sound effect in this track. It feels like a balloon being... Squished. Hearts lists are off again. That. Two of those, two of those, two of those. It's funny how sitting here and building this in Lego makes me want to go play Minecraft. It could also be the Minecraft soundtrack that we're listening to, but like I definitely feel like loading up Minecraft. Unfortunately, the Lego or the, the Minecraft work I have to do is trying to figure out what mods are breaking 1.21 and seeing how I can move forward with that. I feel like the big problem is probably going to be data packs, but we'll have to see. I just need to put in the time intensive work of testing one mod at a time and load the game, see if it breaks it. I can probably lump a few things from the sodium developers into one test, but after that, a lot of them are separate developers. I need another one of those. It was off by two. 
Flip the table. Cool. There we go. So that is the other part of the arch that will eventually go on the other tower. So you see how they kind of line up like that. Maybe about that far. Go like that. Yeah, there's only about a only about a brick or so in between. Very cool. You may have found a replacement for tables and chairs, but you're still evaluating. Yeah, the problem with that is that when you switch to something else, you then have to go and replace all of the tables and chairs. Um, I have half a mind to hire someone to write me either a data pack or a mod, probably a mod, to, um, to replace tables and chairs permanently, so I don't have to worry about it. We are on... Pick list 4.1 is where we are. Once again, a huge shout out and thank you to Grandpa Crafter for sending in this custom design set that he took the time to sort out, build design, and, and send via the mail. Uh, this is again the West Hill main gate from my Minecraft world. This is where I'm going to wrap things up, folks. I'm going to pass you along to somebody else today. Probably someone playing Minecraft would be my guess. And uh, I'll be back again tomorrow playing Minecraft, 1 o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus 4 hours, I want to say. We're daylight savings time right now. I think most places it's still 4 hours. Uh, very easy to just, I'm an hour ahead of New York for people that need to know. You can, of course, follow on social media, Joel Duggan, very easy to find. You're already here on Twitch, but if you want to watch this later, or if you're watching this later, it's Joel Duggan on Twitch. And Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube is where I post all of the uh, archived content from Twitch. These are all on playlists. You will be able to find all the LEGO from 2024, as well as each individual set has its own playlist. So it's very easy to find uh, the first video of a set. Uh, this is only the second week, and we've actually made a decent amount of progress. As I mentioned, uh, we've got um, some details that keep on falling off on the back of this. Once I stop moving it around, I'm sure it'll be fine. Details there. And then, of course, the arch. You can listen to other things that I do. Uh, all things are linked at joelduggan.com, but you can also listen to the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts wherever you find your podcasts. YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, we're everywhere. Very easy to find. Uh, I really appreciate it. That is my real full-time job. I, you know, Twitch is part of it, but the podcasting is my main my main job. So if you want to listen, it's free. I would really appreciate it. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, Sandy, throwing a couple of names in chat as to who we're going to raid, and uh, we'll send you all along. Uh, yes, Grandpa Crafter, for sure. Big shout out to Alistair for the assistance in putting all the parts together again for this set. I really appreciate it. Very, very cool. Oh, there's still so many pieces. This is, I think this is the highest piece count I have ever assembled on stream. Uh, 2,708 pieces. Impulse, Gem, and Scotsman. Uh, let's raid Impulse. Impulse is going to be on the Spawn Chunks on Monday, so that'll be a fitting raid. Thanks for the heads up, Sandy. Appreciate it. I'm sure if you are a Minecraft player, you know who Impulse SV is. If you do not, he's a member of the, uh, the Hermitcraft server. And I think you'll enjoy. He's a good, 
Good guy. Really, really good guy. So I'm going to pass you along to them, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.